Okay, so listen, we are now on verdict watch. The jury has been charged, meaning the law has been explained to them. They have been escorted back to the jury room. And now we wait. We wait until something happens. Now, word on the street is that the jury's like length of deliberation is unlimited, meaning they can deliberate, deliberate tonight. At some point, they will be told to go home and sleep. They will deliberate tomorrow for as long as it takes. If they do not reach a verdict on Friday, uh, March the 3rd, they will deliberate over the weekends. It is the end of the week. It has been a six week trial. This jury is ready to be done. I am ready to be done. I want to know what's gonna happen. You know what happened today? Bubba, the dog, was exonerated. John Matters for the prosecution. Let me tell you something. If you don't listen to anything else in this trial, go listen to John Matters' closing argument. John Matters preached a whole sermon. I'm about to join the church of John Matters. I almost got the Holy Ghost and I am a heathen. John took us all to church. I was like, can I get an amen, John Metters? He preached. And I think he might have preached Alec Murdoch into a guilty verdict. I do. I do. Listen, we were all burned by Casey Anthony. I know we were. We were burned by a couple of other of these rotten folks who got off. But in this case, I have faith. I have faith. South Carolina, I think y'all going to restore my faith in the jury system. In the... The jury system? I don't know. The judicial system? I do not know. But in this case, this one little case, I think he's going to be found guilty. There. I said it. I want to say in my heart, hung jury, hung jury, so that if this jury hangs, if there is a mistrial, I don't feel devastated and heartbroken. But John Matters, between Creighton Waters... Creighton Waters put it all the way down. Now listen, if you go back and listen to closing arguments, skip the whole first part of Creighton Waters' testimony, uh, his, his closing arguments. Everything before lunch, forget it ever happened. Don't even worry about that. You don't need to hear nothing about that. Everything after lunch, the day he delivered his closing, that is what you need to listen to. And then Jim Griffin got up there for the defense and basically was like, uh, he did this and I don't want any part of this. Thank you and have a lovely day. He said some things or whatever, but he was fierce and loud and out there when he, um, when he questioned Alec on the stand, the direct examination. But after that, Listen, Jim Griffin is planning a vacation in his head. He is super ready to be gone. He is super ready to never, ever, ever, ever deal with Alec Murdoch or any Murdoch for that matter ever again. But most importantly, when John Metters was talking about what happened down at the kennels, he was like, Bubba knows what happened. And then he went on and did a whole portion of his sermon about Bubba. Everybody said Bubba was hard headed. Everybody said Bubba wouldn't listen. John John understood Bubba. John broke Bubba all the way down. And I was like, look at that. He's going to convict Alex and exonerate Bubba the dog. Hallelujah, John M Matters. Can I send him like a donation or something like that? The state pays him. So we just going to let that be because, you know, I'm stingy with my money. Me and my money, we in a codependent relationship. We not trying to break up. So, um... I'm going to send him every good wish. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to light a candle for him, possibly say a prayer in my heathen, heathen heart. Because John Mather, John Matters did the state of South Carolina strong today. Now, do I want to go visit South Carolina? Absolutely not. These teeny little towns have me scared to death. I'm afraid that if I say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing or look at the wrong person wrong, that I might be thrown in jail or get in trouble. And I got a big mouth. Y'all see me here on YouTube? I'm not fit to be in a small town. I need to be in a big city where all this energy can be dissipated among many, many people. If it's just a few people, it's a little too much for me. My husband has family in South Carolina and one of his, his aunts has a house down there. She's like, you guys should move to South Carolina. They would love you down there. I was like, yeah, that's great. But what's in that for me? Like I'm loved up here. I, I need to go down there to be loved. I, I'm fine. We are fine right here in New Jersey. And New Jersey is a small state, but it's a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of us. 
shoved into relatively small spaces. Although I am lucky and I have a nice big space and I really, and I have worked hard for it and I plan on keeping it. And um, I will drive through South Carolina and say, hey y'all, I might even go to the watermelon festival. But the minute the sun goes down, well, I am getting the heck out of there. Hey, South Carolina, enjoy your pollen and your watermelon and your small town crooked police. Listen, when Dick Harpootlian um, and his ilk got kicked out of that fancy wedding venue, word on the street is that um, they're in a bit in an Airbnb that in a part of town that's occupied by um, narcotics enthusiasts and uh, sex workers. I, those are the right words for both of those things. So um, if nothing else, win or lose, I hope they get a nice rub and tug out of this. Like, I don't know. And maybe some opioids, if that's what they're into, or just a stiff drink. I don't know. Finally, before I forget, before um, the jury was sent back off to the room, Creighton Water stood up and he was like, Your Honor, what about willful intoxication? And I was like, uh, is Creighton asking if he can have a drink now? Because honest to goodness, that's what I thought it meant. I thought he was saying, Your Honor, can I please go get willfully intoxicated because this case has worn me out. Turns out willful intoxication is a legal term and they can add that on to the charges. The judge ultimately decided not to add it on to the charges, but how much you want to bet all of the prosecution, all the defense, and probably even Alex Murdoch are all getting willfully intoxicated right now. Something tells me he drinking some toilet wine. He's going to have himself a, a nice bologna sandwich with a side of illicit opioids that were probably smuggled up somebody's body cavities tonight. He going to need that drink. He won't need a drink. He going to need a drink similar to what um, Russell Lafitte had. Y'all remember Russell Lafitte? Gosh, that was so long ago. Russell Lafitte is one of the other crimes associated with Murdoch. He was a banker who's now in prison or going to prison or will be in prison soon. He did a lot of very, very bad things and he's going to a very, very bad jail. Well, he's going to federal prison. Is federal prison nicer? I think I heard that federal prison was nicer. Frankly, it, it's, it's not for me. It's not for me. The pillows are probably flat. The service is probably terrible and they might make you clean things like, mm. That is not my gift. Okay. As we sit on jury watch, the instant I hear anything about a verdict, I do not care where I am. I will be right back here. But they might be on verdict watch all weekend. We'll see. I'm willing to bet that these fine people uh, are back at work on Monday. We don't see. We're going to find out. But I will bet they are back at work on Monday. We will just have to wait and see. Until then, I will see you in the morning. Bye-bye.